If you're, say, a drug addict or a sex addict, that means your body is wired right now to be that way. When you were a child, you did not need to perceive bad in order to perceive good. This whole black, white, yin, yang, good, bad balance of the equation is insanity. It's a computer trying to assess itself. That's what it sees. All the results of creation, not from the creation point of view. When you were young, you had to be taught to view things as good and bad right and wrong. Then once you got hit with TV, Barney, Elmo, Sesame Street, Disney, bye-bye. And that's when you start being selfish. The more TV you watch, the more uh, toys you get, the more all the, the stimulation from this cancer. And pretty soon the child starts saying things like, mine, before they're quick to come up and just offer it to you and to share. You didn't need to perceive bad in order to perceive good. That's why you have drug use, gambling, sex addiction, um, anything like that. The escape from reality. You have to perceive bad, and, and it's a polar, it's a backlash. It's the pursuit of pleasure and avoidance of pain is what motivates everybody. Like robots. But as a child, you, you can't remember anymore. The reason you weren't compelled to drink before you hit puberty, you weren't, most of you, unless you were abused, which isn't your fault, but if you weren't, you weren't out trying to get laid all the time. Question. When were you happier? Then or now? As long as they're connected to the Creator, they'll know what they need to know in any given moment. They may or may not retain it, kind of like, uh, you know, some have experienced something similar, though this is not it and I specify this, smoking marijuana, you lose your memory, but you have all this creativity, right, during it, but that's not, all you're doing is changing your frequency. You actually disconnect yourself from intuition when you smoke marijuana, hence paranoia. Paranoia is a disconnection from intuition, intuitive knowing. I mean, shouldn't you, you should ask yourself, with all the fear mongering, all the potential threats and possible things that, that can happen to you, right, in the world, in what I'm doing, shouldn't I be the most paranoid guy you've ever heard in your life? Shouldn't I be cowering in a corner somewhere? I don't suffer from paranoia. I've seen things that would destroy the average person mentally um, if they're disconnected from intuition just you know they'd be loony um, within days they're gone why have I seen it because my job is to do a few certain things I am not patronizing you you just don't understand if I told you the reality right now and I will tell you but if I told it to you right now I would be hurting you. They want you smoking pot. The way to influence the human mind is pretty simple. Make it illegal for a certain period of time. It's the fastest growing biomass on the planet. And then, at the same time, make sure you release medical information that contradicts its being illegal. Harvard, October 24, 2006, released the information that it prevents the plaques and tangles formed in Alzheimer's. It uh, promotes frontal lobe neuronal growth. All of these things. It's really good for you. Harvard? Yeah. Why? Because they're going to legalize it eventually. And then that will disconnect your aura from you and uh, bring you into this mental realm where you can be controlled even more and that will be used for their scalar jump. What is a scalar jump? Well, see, um, remember now, a scalar jump would be atom, atoms bonding together to form a molecule. It sees itself as I. Molecules to tissues, tissues to structures, structures to you. Do you call yourself we the atoms, we the molecules? No, you, you call yourself I. Well, the tumor in your body uh, goes along the same scalar process. It hijacks cells till it can see, use the cells to see itself as I until it's a tumor and then sees itself as the tumor, I the tumor, and then more than one tumor, I the collection of tumors, and it's just this insane 
growth. Well, see, when you see this Illuminati pyramid, you don't know what you're looking at. A lot of people think it's a pyramid with a capstone over it that's been lifted off. No, that's not what it is at all. The pyramid is what you're calling the capstone. What is beneath it is its prediction, its goal. And its goal is to lower down, bang, and be a much larger pyramid or scalar jump. Its goal, to completely take over the earth and the consciousness of the earth. And it goes in scales. It's taking over, has taken over humanity. Look at you. you. None of you know why you're here or what you're doing, why you pursue the goals that you're told you're supposed to pursue. Um, the whole money system, there's no need for money in the universe. None whatsoever. There's no need for it. At all. There's no need for a monetary system. At all. You wanted to build the buildings that you built? Fine. Humanity could have come together collectively to do it because they wanted to do it. People don't need to be paid, and they don't, I mean, it's, uh, it's a disease. Money has even got a hex on it. It's, a, uh, it's Kabbalah. The less love you have, the more shame you have, the less self-esteem you have, the more controllable you are. Why? Because you're supposed to have self-esteem. You're supposed to have self-love. They condition you to call that you know, bragging if someone loves themselves. What? No. Um, to love yourself is to love your creation, which means you, by default you'll love the Creator. And nothing can control you. What am I telling you? What have I experienced? Well, perfect strangers, over a hundred by now, come by and you, you call it synchronicity. Most synchronicity is... Uh, um, this cancer consciousness utilizes the same mode of communication in some ways as God would, so God uses other methods, but um, a lot of synchronicity is, is coordinated and, um, you know, created by this cancer consciousness.